Your life is influenced by technology and the new component that you have to take into account is artificial intelligence that is going to permeate what you do and learning to live with AIs is a skill that you must acquire in order to understand the world of today and tomorrow. Artificial intelligence is a technology that has been simmering for decades and promising incredible breakthroughs described by science fiction books and movies. We have all become accustomed, kind of discounting it, where we thought that it would come, but we wouldn't take into account that actually we would have to really understand it and take it into account in our own lifetimes. Well, we cannot discount it anymore. AI is here. And today is the day with the least amount of artificial intelligence around you. Every day from today onwards is going to have only more of it. Now, what happens when your world uh, begins to be permeated and then little by little potentially saturated by artificial intelligence is counterintuitive. Because we have been accustomed to seeing the depictions uh, of AI in software or in robots as very obedient uh, and, um, well, uh, if we wanted to show the conflict, of course, rebellious, uh, but uh, still uh, with not many surprises. There are just a few exceptions of wonderful books and movies that are able to uh, really represent the radical kinds of surprises that uh, it is likely AI is going to bring into the world. Just to give a couple of examples, um, if you haven't seen uh, the movie Her, uh, I greatly recommend it, as well as uh, Ex Machina. Uh, these are two movies that uh, uh, have a, a clear message and an important message of how artificial general intelligence is not something that we will be able to uh, control. Now, we are admittedly not there yet. And we don't even know if it is going to take 10 years or a hundred years uh, before we develop an AGI. But there are fewer and fewer people who believe that it is not going to be uh, at all possible at any time in the future. And among the experts, there is a growing consensus that not only uh, AGIs are possible, but that we are assembling the tool set that it is that is going to uh, make it uh, practically possible as well in terms of both software and hardware. In the meantime, what can you do? How can you prepare for that world? Well, even uh, the narrow AIs that uh, are um, around us contain already seeds of surprising types of behavior, either on their side or uh, the behaviors that elicit, that they elicit on our side that we can um, try to understand uh, and uh, that uh, we can either keep or substitute with better types of reactions uh, that are fruitful that are leading to desirable outcomes. And 
what is a fairly common, uh, almost recurring conclusion uh, in the use of uh, uh, these AIs is how adaptable uh, human beings really are. How uh, quickly we realize uh, the parameters under which a certain system functions and then we are very fast in uh, using those parameters to our advantage. A good example of this is speech recognition, where uh, we have uh, been using uh, now uh, speech recognition systems for 20, uh, 30 years, and they have become ever more uh, performing. But still, if you correctly enunciate, you will have better results. If you mumble, or if you speak in truncated sentences that don't very much make sense, well, you will find out that either the system is unable to recognize you, or when you read what you uh, have been saying, well, uh, the difference between what you wanted to express and what is actually on the screen or on paper will be very, very evident. So many of us, have learned to speak clearly and to formulate sentences that uh, are concise and uh, uh, meaningful through the help of this particular AI. Another example is the um, concern, quiet, reasonable and substantiated concern of the degree of bias that uh, AI systems exhibit because of the particular training model and data sets that uh, they grew up uh, learning from. And these biases are actually an excellent opportunity to understand that it is not the AI's fault. It is the uh, collection, analysis, and representation of our reality that is the source of bias. Our society is biased. Our behaviors are biased. So if the AI inherits this bias, actually it gives us an opportunity to correct that bias. And it shouldn't be corrected only at the level of the AI. It should be corrected at the source. We should and we can take advantage of that opportunity in order to go back and ask ourselves how can we make our society in its entirety in the physical reality of our world less biased. Another challenge that AI today has is that the artificial neural networks that are a kind of automatic programming that is able to take into account all the parameters that need to be optimized for, and it exhibits the desired behavior, but at the cost of becoming a black box, including for uh, most of the times the programmers that designed these learning systems, is the explainability. And we have to be able to understand why uh, the system behaves in a certain manner, both in order to improve its behavior as well as the necessity to be able to justify the decisions to the people impacted by them. In Europe, for example, this is imposed by law. You cannot uh, tell someone that you decided in a certain way because the computer told you so. And this is also an excellent opportunity because, yes, it is the case that the uh, behavior uh, of so many of our systems independently of uh, being uh, based on AI or not, uh, is unexplained 
maybe not unexplainable at the source, but we don't bother um, to uh, make explicit and understandable and accountable the set of rules that uh, are already uh, governing complex systems uh, and the complex decision-making in our societies. The ability of AI to act uh, promoting ethical systems and ethical decision-making ultimately uh, is summarized in the expression AI for good. We have the ability to choose every time we adopt uh, and uh, uh, deploy advanced technologies what we want to do with them. And AI for good is the ultimate desire to make sure that the powerful technology of artificial intelligence is going to be deployed in a manner that benefits uh, humanity, that inclusively uh, promotes the opportunities of everyone and the way that you should be able to um, take advantage of artificial intelligence is uh, corresponding to the uh, root uh, of your adaptability, uh, of uh, your access uh, to tools, uh, of your interpreting uh, the world. Taking advantage of AI today is a stepping stone to be able to coexist with AI in the future.